used for larger areas of your design. Pretty much like a fill. So when I click on the complex fill, the way that you would lay it out is pretty much the shape of your design. So if your design is a box, you just do a box. If your design is a little more curved, you hold control and you'll be able to curve it as well. And here it is. Now, with your complex fill on the side, this is going to open up. So this is the fill type. You have the opportunity to change the pattern of it. Now the fill type is standard, but the pattern, if you were to click on the drop down arrow, you have the opportunity to change it to different patterns. So it defaults to the Tommy. So we'll just change one of them. We'll choose this purple. And then you can pretty much change to a different pattern. So we'll choose brick, hit apply. This is how it looks. Pattern one. Zigzag. Now it does say sad in here, but as I mentioned, make sure it does not exceed 0.79. So this might not look good. Yep, look what happens. So overall, if you're using a complex fill, I do not recommend for you to switch it to a satin because most likely it is way over 